Hello, Andrew Lynch here, and today what we're going to talk about so you can play better golf is what are you not doing with your head or what are you doing with your head that could be helping or hindering your swing, which is, as we know, just a swinging motion. So, and this really comes from a client that I had who had literally taken it as read that if I kept my head still and I kept it down then I will hit a good shot and so his swing looked a little bit like this a lot like this and he literally hit the ball like that not very far and he said you can't tell me Andrew I didn't keep my head down and I didn't keep it still uh, playing off 28 well quite honestly could have played off 36 and I said you are definitely keeping your head down you are keeping your head still but you've lost the plot because <laughs> that and that's the problem with little bits of advice sometimes is people will literally run with it to an, an incredible extent so the George Nudson said the golf, the, the, the head plays no part in the golf swing. Now here's the difference between George Nudson's swing and this fellow's swing was a chasm. George had one of the best swings going. This guy didn't have a swing at all. In George's swing, you're right, his head played no part in his swing. But it played a huge part in this other guy's swing. Now we're really just trying to do a swinging motion. You know me, I love the old Ernest Jones, Manuel de la Torre, and there we go. That's a turn into the finished position. And if you notice, my head just went with it. I didn't try and keep my head somewhere. Now, if you've got a golf app, and these, this is what golf apps are really good, you know, the swing apps, if you tab, film yourself and you see your head kind of going this way, that's a sway. So that's how it can hinder you because a sway is not a turn. I've done a previous video about that, so check out that. But if you're also just trying to keep your eye on the ball and turn, if you notice, I'm getting quite tight here at 45 degrees. Well, I want to turn 90, but I'm keeping my head still and kind of looking at where the ball would be. And that creates rigidity, and that's not natural. So, when you looked at, and the clue is in looking at players like Anika Sorensen and David Duval, both X World number ones, both great players and major winners, is that. And if you look at Jack Nicholas, they let the head rotate. Think about it. The shoulders are moving around your spine. There we go. But if I try and keep that head still, there's only so far I can go. If I let the head rotate, now I can go 90. My head has moved, but it's rotated. It hasn't swayed. And if you're kind of trying to keep your head still, you may be losing a huge amount of distance and accuracy because of trying to keep that head in that fixed position. So film yourself. I had a client who just improved his swing because I said, look, I want your head to move with the club on the downswing. And all of a sudden he's posting, he's getting up there, he's clearing his body the strike is improving so check yourself and you know again all I'm bothered about in the golf swing you could say he's getting that club over this shoulder getting it over that shoulder and turning not swaying but turning and if I do that you see my head will rotate now 
Dustin Johnson even, he was then when he went to world number one, one of the big things he did was on his wedges, which had been poor, he let his head rotate earlier in the downswing. He really wanted to get that head rotating towards target. And so it's nothing new. And Jack Nicholas, he used to preset the turn. He used to go like this and then turn into it. So you need to rotate that head. So get down the range, just get a ball there, just a nice little three quarter swing. And what it is, is just feel your head rotating with your shoulders. And then rotating through. Nice little three quarter swing there. Good solid strike because I'm not restricting my head movement. And when I say head movement, I mean turn. So check this out at your range. Get it on your phone. See what it looks like. And if it's great, fine. If it's not, correct it and you'll, but you'll notice an improvement in your strike. So from Andrew Lynch trying to improve your game. By the way, if you need online lessons, give me a shout out. And I'd like to hear back from you how this has helped you uh, in your game. So get back to me with your comments. And I hope this helps because for too long, I've been hearing this, keep the head still, don't move it. In fact, Jack Nicholas, to finish, Jack Nicholas's caddy, oh, sorry, coach, or oh, sorry, I forget his name, he was asked about, Jack said, I try and keep my head really still. And his coach said, if Jack had tried to keep his head still, he'd have been bald by the time he was 15, because he said he'd have been, he rotates his head in my hand. So there you go. Hope this helps and uh, get back to me. Bye.